Hey everybody, happy Thursday. Don't mind my hair. I just threw it up because I don't like having my hair down when I do my makeup, so that's why it looks like this. Anyways, you guys, how are you? I hope you all having a great day so far. We are one step closer to Friday, so that's always good. Um, today I am going to do a quick makeup look for you. Um, I have been mixing a little bit of my B Fix. I still had one tube left. It's in light. Um, I've been mixing that with my BB, but because we don't sell this anymore, I'm not going to use it because I want to show you guys products, only the products that you can get right now. And I want to kind of try to simplify it as best as I can so that you can get a couple of products to try and get as close to replicating the look that I'm doing today without having to buy a lot of products. Because I know everybody's on a budget right now. Money is tight, you guys. Gas is going up. Food prices are going up. And a lot of us are like, you know, we need to save. We need to cut corners. And a lot of people are saying, you know, we just don't have the extra to spend on makeup or skincare. And I get you. Like, I totally am there with you. Um... So if you cannot afford it, that's perfectly understandable. I am right there with you. Um, if you could just share this video or talk to your friends and family about pharmacy products, see if they'd be interested, that would be great. Um, but if you are able to um, purchase some products or you already use pharmacy and you are looking to add a few more products to your um to what you already have that would be awesome so let me just tell you i already started out with primer i have on the strobe primer so it's this one in the purple tube the vfx pro strobe um that is what's on my face right now and um i've let that sit for a few minutes so we are good to go we are going to go in with bb I am, like I said, I've been mixing it with the B Fit because I had a couple of these left and I just wanted to use them up. I loved this stuff. I loved it. It was our tinted moisturizer. I absolutely loved it. Um, unfortunately, it got retired, but hopefully they'll come up with something similar. That's what I'm hoping. And I am just going to go in with my BB in the shade light to medium. And I don't put a whole lot, you guys. Um, especially on days that I really don't have anywhere particular to go, if I'm just going to go do a couple of errands, I kind of leave it like kind of light, you know, I don't put a whole lot. My skin right now is looking so good, you guys, that I've been enjoying not wearing a whole lot of makeup. I'll keep it real with you, um, because my skin's looking so good. So I've been enjoying just kind of doing very minimum makeup. And I think it's good to do that every so often anyways. It gives your skin a chance to breathe. So I think every so often it's nice to just go without makeup. And this BB is light to medium coverage. It is unlike other BBs in the way that you actually get payoff, um, pigment payoff, okay? You know how a lot of BB creams, they don't really do anything. They kind of balance out your skin a little bit, but they don't really give you any pigment payoff. Like it doesn't really add any color um, to your skin. And ours does. And because it is buildable, you can get that light to medium coverage really easily. And like I said, it just feels like you're wearing nothing, okay? It's just a really nice way to even out and balance your skin. And you can apply this with your fingers. You can use a brush. You could use a beauty blender, like whatever you want. And then if you feel like you need a little bit more, put a little bit more. But like I said, I kind of just like going really, really natural. Because like I said, my skin feels amazing, you guys. And I use only pharmacy skincare, just so you know, in case you're wondering. Um, I use the Age Reversed line and our Resurface line. 
Now the resurfaced line is a little bit more money than the age reversed line, but well worth it. So if you can afford to get either one, I would strongly suggest trying it. You have 30 days, you can always return it if it's not what you want or didn't do what you thought. But with keeping that in mind, yes, you can return in 30 days. However, keep in mind that sometimes it does take a month to two months for you to see a difference with skincare, depending on what you're looking to get out of it, okay? So just keep that in mind because sometimes people buy skincare and they use it for a couple of days or a week and they're already like, oh, this isn't working for me, I'm gonna bring it back. In all fairness to any product, okay? Any company's line, any skincare that you use, in all fairness, you need to give it at least 30 days. Um, before you can really judge it. I mean, that's just being fair. Like, how would you like someone to judge you in like a matter of meeting you on the first day they meet you or the first week? You know what I mean? Your your response would probably be to yourself, well, geez, you know, they could have at least given me a week before they judged me. You know what I mean? It's the same way with um, skincare, hair care, like, you got to give it a fair chance. You know what I mean? Maybe you started using it on a bad day. Maybe your skin was having a bad day. You know what I mean? It's like people, like, you might meet me out somewhere and I might be having a really shitty day and you come up to me and I, you know, you could meet a pop, meet me on that day and leave thinking, wow, what a bitch. Like, wow, she's, you know, whatever. But it could have been just because I had a really bad day and you just happened to catch me on that bad day. But then if you were to see me the next day and come up to me, I'd be like, hey, how are you? And oh my God, you know, nice to see you and blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? So makeup and skincare is kind of like that. They're kind of like human in that way that sometimes, you know, your skin's having a bad day or your hair's having a bad day. So you got to be fair and give it a little chance to work. Okay. So we have our BB on. I love, love, love BB. And it's lightweight, like I said, you guys. So if you're not into a more heavier foundation or like a full coverage foundation, this or our CC cream will be your best friend. I prefer the BB over the CC cream, but because the CC cream is a little bit thicker. So for me, I love this. And mixed with this, it's even better. But like I said, I can't sell you this, but I can sell you this one. So I should say I can offer you that. I hate that term. I can sell you, if, you know. I can offer you this one, but I cannot offer you that one. All right, so uh, let's get to the next step, okay? Which is going to be a really simple eye look. So what I am gonna do is I am gonna set my eyes with our pressed powder. You can use any powder that you have. If you don't have a pharmacy powder, no problem. Use whichever one you want. You can go with whatever shade you want. If you wanna go with our translucent, you can do so. This is, I think, yeah, number one. This is the lightest shade right now for me. And that's what I tend to use because I'm not looking to really add color to my lids. Um, I just want to set them so that when I go in with the next product, it's gonna go on really nice and smooth. I do not set my face with powder. I don't like the look of it on me. I like a very dewy, hydrated look, so I never set my face with powder. What I am gonna do though, is I am gonna add a little bit of concealer to under my eye. Just to lighten up a little. And if you hear my stomach growling, I am so sorry, you guys, so sorry. But I started really going heavy with my dieting again. Like I'm back on um, my Weight Watchers again, and I, um, I'm i getting used to being back on track, <laughs> and uh, my stomach is hating me right now. I'm um, just keeping it real, like, it's just my stomach's hating me so much, because it's like, uh, excuse me, where's all that extra food that you're putting in <laughs> us, you know, in me, and um, yeah. Not good, you guys. Not good. 
but I am back on track and it's going to be a little bit harder this time. When you've lost weight and you put it back on and you try to lose it the second time, I don't care who you talk to. I'm telling you, it is so much harder the second time around. Like it just is. I'm sorry. I'm just keeping it real. It is so much harder. Um, so yeah, I am back. So now instead of losing, having to lose like five pounds to meet my goal, I now have to lose 15. Yes. I put on eight pounds. I'm at 170 right now. I'm just going to keep it real with you guys. I'm at 170. I was at 163 and I have to start over again now. And even though some people say, oh, seven pounds, it's not much, you know, you'll lose that really quickly. It's not that easy, trust me. And seven pounds after you've lost them feels like about 50 pounds when you put those seven pounds back. So it is terrible, you guys. So bad. But I'll get there. I will lose it and I will be back by summer. I'll be back down to at least the 163 and then I will work towards my goal weight again. I can do it. I did it once. I kept it off for almost, I kept it off for three years. So I can do it again. But COVID hit, depression hit, anxiety hit, my mother's passing hit. It was like a whole bunch of stuff in the last two years that brought me to this seven pound gain. So yeah. And when I, I'm a stress eater, so, and an emotional eater, so that's never a good thing. When you have a lot of stuff going on in your life, never a good thing. All right, guys, three in one. I mean, I'm sorry, Peach Bite Palette. I was going to use the three in one, that's why. Peach Bite Palette, gorgeous palette. This thing is under $20, unless it went, I think it might be $29, $20.90 .90 now, but um, it is amazing, you guys. It's so good because not only can you use it as your bronzer, your highlight, and your blush, but you can use all three shades as an eyeshadow, which is amazing because if you travel a lot, this one and the three-in-one is like your best friend because it's one simple thin-lined package that you have to just throw in your bag and you have everything you need. Throw in a lip product and an eye um, mascara product and a primer and you're good to go. You have everything that you need with like three or four items. So I'm going to start off with this shade, the darkest shade right here. Oh, actually, you know what? I lie. I'm going to go in with the blush shade first. And I'm going to just kind of pop that on the entire eye, I'm bringing it all the way up to my brow bone. It's such a pretty palette, you guys. Now, I will say, if you have a deeper skin tone, I don't know if it would show up as well on deeper skin tone. I'm fair to light. So if you have a deeper complexion, this may not work for you. Um, as far as showing the actual colors of them. But it's really pretty. So if you have like light, fair to medium, I would say this would be perfect. Now the three in one palette, definitely you could use on deeper skin tones, I think. But <clears throat> So I'm just putting that on my entire lid and all the way up to the brow bone. And this is like gonna, this would be a simple, easy out the door look. So now I'm gonna go into that deeper shade, okay? Same brush. And I'm just going to stipple it right on the outer edge of my lid. And then kind of bring it into the crease. Like we're not being like meticulous, okay? We are just kind of free form, super simple. And it's really nice because these blend out so good, you guys. So, so good. So again, 
just stippling on the outer corner, dragging it into the crease a little bit, just adding a little dimension. Stipple, stipple, stipple. Crease. Okay, see how pretty that is? It's just really natural, it's soft. It's just really nice. Then I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna go into the highlight shade. And we are gonna pop that right on the inner part of the lid. Just a little bit. See how pretty? And like I said, if I wasn't doing this by video, this takes me literally like no time at all. Super, super quick. And super affordable. So you get the best of both worlds. And I'm just going to touch up under my eye. Because we had a little fallout. Because I was being sloppy. Just getting that in that inner corner a little bit deeper. And then we're going to take a small brush, okay? And I'm going to go into that lighter. I'm going to go between the two. I'm going to go between this one and this one. And we're going to just drag that underneath the lower lash line. Kind of smoke it out a little bit. So a mix, mix, mix. And that hair is driving me crazy. Okay. Drag that down a little bit. And then if you wanted to intensify the outer corners, you could if you wanted to. Oh, this is driving me crazy, you guys. I hate when my hair does not cooperate. <laughs> when all else fails, wear your eye brush. Use your eye brush comb to do your hair. Like, why not, right? It's hey. Okay, so we have that. And then, this is really bugging me. <laughs> all right, Shell, stop it. Terrible. All right, I'm gonna go in with Zen Mascara. $8.90, you guys, retail. Really good mascara. And we are going to pop that on. You can go in with the round side first or the flat side first. It doesn't really matter. It's whatever you want. There's no right or wrong way. And for $8.90, you cannot go wrong. Gives you everything. It's gonna give you definition, volume, length. Okay. So it's like one of those multi-purpose mascaras. Some of them will, just, will target just length, some just target volume. This one gives you a little bit of everything. And at $8.90, it's gonna roughly cost you about, it would be like $3 a month because you should replace every three months. So for $3 a month, you know, $3 every three months, it would be like buying a mascara at $3. You know, when you divide it by the three months. So, so affordable, you guys. Okay. So that's with and without. We look up for you guys so you can see. Isn't that amazing, you guys? I mean, that is $8.90. Come on. That is incredible. 
And if you have issues with your lashes and you struggle with them a little bit, we have a great lash and brow serum that you can buy. It's super affordable. Because if you guys have researched how much lash serums are, you're going to know that you're going to pay anywhere from like 75 and up for most of them for just a month's supply. And ours is under $30, I believe. So it is amazing. And sometimes I know I should have the retail prices memorized, but like for being an influencer, I get everything half off. So I have my half off prices kind of memorized, but I honestly half the time don't even look. I just add stuff to my cart because I know at 50% off, I am saving so much money that I don't really have to worry about what I'm putting in my cart for the most part. I mean, right now I am a little bit more careful because money's a little bit tight because everything is insanely expensive. It cost me $85 to fill my car the other day, you guys. Like, it's crazy. And I have a Mazda um, SUV. And I love that car, but I'll tell you, I did, I did not like the pricing at the pumps for it. But I love my car. I wouldn't trade it. I love it too much, but yeah, I don't like it so much when I have to put gas in her. And yes, my car's a girl. I have named her. Her name is Betsy. And we go back a long way. <laughs> How many of you name your car? Or like call it a he or a she. That's funny. People think I'm crazy. But, you know, she's good to me. So I show respect to my car. Okay. You go, guys. Zen mascara for the win today. Now we are going to go in with one of our double-ended brushes. And we are going to put some blush which would be this beauty right here. This is a really light, soft blush. Really, really pretty. And I pretty much just put it right here. I don't usually typically take it all the way up. You can, like you can go all the way up like that with it. So what I do is I kind of place it on where I want it. And then I will take my big fluffy powder brush and then I just kind of go in and blend it, okay? I kind of pounce it so that I'm not putting a lot of powder on my face when I blend because this powder brush holds powder for a long time. I mean, I wash it, but if you even use it like once or twice, like this is so dense that it always has powder in it unless I've freshly washed it. And like I said, I don't like my face to be matte. I like that dewy look. So, okay. And then I am going to go in with a smaller brush and I am going to go into that highlight and put a little bit on my brush. And I'm just going to pop a little bit right here. You see that? Like right on my cheek. Isn't that gorgeous? And I'm going to drag a little bit down the center of my nose. Pop a little bit right here. Really light handed. I'm not going heavy handed at all. You can put a little here if you want. Okay, you can actually go right across the forehead if you want. And if you want to drag it up, you can. And connect it like that. Okay. 
And then what I do is I go back in with that fluffy brush and I just kind of make sure that it's not just sitting on my skin, it blends in and you just get that beautiful, beautiful glow. So pretty, you guys. You gotta try one of our palettes, you have to. They're so affordable. Okay, now we're gonna go in with lips and I'm gonna do a combo. So I'm gonna start off with, let's see, what, is this which one I want? I'm gonna go in with 227 which is a dark chocolate brown. I have really tiny lips, you guys. Like, there is nothing oppressive about my lips. At all. And my top lip is thinner than my bottom. So I overline them just a little at the top. Then we're going to go in with the shade 208. I'm going to put that on. This is one of our original shades. Isn't that pretty, you guys? Okay. And I just got a feel slicking for where to go. Oh. I need an I'm gonna use another shade on top. But I'm gonna go in with one more coat of the two oh eight. Isn't that pretty, you guys? Oh, I love this color. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry for one second. And then we're going to go in with the shade 02 right in the middle and ombre it out a little. And it's a really light, a really light shade. Okay, so just a little. A little goes a long way. And if you need to, you can always go back in and add a little bit more of that lip liner. But see how beautiful that is? How pretty it ombres out. And then you can just go back in and just add a little bit more liner. You guys, it's so pretty. See how it just ombre out the middle? It's so good. And that is the look, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me recap what we did. We did the Strobe Primer. We did BB in Light to Medium. We used our Zen Mascara. We used our Peach Bite Palette for our um, highlight, our blush, and our eyeshadow. Now, you could go on, you could have gone in and contoured a little with this, but I kept it simple. But we used this for multiple purposes. 227 Lip Liner. 208 and O2 on the lips, so these three 
on the lips. You could go in with just one of those colors, one shade, and you'd be good too. And I am going to, what else did we use? I think that was it. Eyeshadow, yeah, we're good. So I'm gonna just spray, I don't have any time locker spray, so I'm just going in with my um, e.l.f. coconut setting spray. I love this setting spray. I love ours too. I love our time locker, but I love this. It's just leaves my skin looking so, so dewy. And I just like a dewy look, you guys. I don't know. So I am going to go fix my hair, take a couple of pictures for you guys and post them. I will post this video for you. That way you can watch it. If you'd like to replicate it, you'll be able to just follow the video. As always, if you like anything that I use today, you can do, um, do, do, no, you can go. <laughs> All right, Charlotte. Hey, I, I fell asleep at 5 a.m. I was up at 8. I got three hours of sleep, so just give me some grace for today. You can go on over to my website at www.pharmacyus.com forward slash Charlotte Cardoso 2. And there you can shop for anything that you liked in this video and more. Um, we do have skincare. We have fragrance. We have home care cleaning products. We have hair care products. We have soap. We have um, health and wellness products. We have so many new items that are on my um, website under the new arrivals tab. So go check it out, you guys, if you want. And again, I hope you like this simple, pretty look. And um, have a great rest of your day. And um, enjoy the weekend, you guys. I hope it's beautiful where you are. Bye.